Hi, kisses, and welcome back to Nina Ready Eats. Today, I am super excited. I am at the empanada factory, and they have so many different types of empanadas. We have ranchera, breakfast, cinnamon apple, humita, I believe that's vegetables, chimichurri sauce, a spicy sauce, garlic, what is that garlic with what? Mm, that is delicious. Then we have some crispy plantain chips with shrimp ceviche. My mouth is watering. This is a temporary drink for the summer. We're gonna taste that first. Let me say my quick prayer. Hold on, because I'm about to get into this. Limited drink for the summer. It's cracking cho chocolate. So the whole cup is covered in chocolate. Then they put the drink inside and then you crack it and you have chocolate chunks inside. Thought that was clever. A lemonade. Oh, that is good. And then we have stuffed deep fried potatoes. Okay. I cheated. I tasted it. I'm in love. I told, um, the waiter that brought me the food, I was like, oh my God. The, yeah, I don't understand, I'm gonna show it to you. These stuffed potatoes with that ground beef inside, it is so juicy. Inside is so moist, creamy from that potato being whipped, stuffed with that superly well seasoned beef and that sauce on top, amazing. Oh my God. If you've never had stuffed potatoes, you have to try this. This is a very common dish in Puerto Rico. We do stuffed potatoes. The way they do it here, it just brings back so many memories. This is delicious. Like, I can't exaggerate, it's delicious. This is a family owned business. They also have a food truck. You can tell that they take pride in their food. Spectacular. I so recommend this. Okay, wait, I gotta taste. Let me not focus because, I mean, let me not focus on these. I was craving that the entire time I was setting up. I made the mistake of tasting it and the whole time I'm like, oh my God, I just want to sit down and eat this. It was so, it's so delicious. I like the freshness of it. They make your empanada. Obviously they, they make a lot of them, but they, when you order them, that's when they bake them. I believe these are baked. I don't even think they're deep fried. Oh, that is good. Mm. You guys know that I love seafood. A nampanada place with good ceviche? Yes to this. That is nice. That lime juice, fresh cilantro. I think I see a little bit of tomato in here. This is delicious. Mmm. And a little bit of purple onion. I just tasted that onion. Oh my God, it's so good. Simple ingredients fresh this is good I'm loving this oh yeah 
We can do this. Mm-hmm. They're back there cooking it up, chefing it up. I love the way it's set up. I call these boutique, ooh. I call these boutique restaurants. It's a really cute space, decorated with a lot of plants and greenery. Oh. You can come here with your friends, your kids. It almost has the vibe of like a, a Starbucks lounge. You know what I'm saying? Like it has that study vibe, chill vibe, relax, come get some work done vibe. If you're in this area, you guys check out the description box, okay? You're gonna wanna grab the address. You're gonna wanna see those Yelp reviews. It ain't just me. When I go to restaurants, I, look, I always look at their Yelp reviews. The recommendations are correct. The food is amazing. The space is nice. Family owned. The people are kind. Mm. Nice. Very nice. Don't let me tell it to you. Them things right there. <laughs> These are amazing. But like I said, don't let me tell it to you. All right. I'm going to try the ranchera. Now, I'm not sure what's inside of the ranchera. We're going to find out together. Like I said, these are fresh baked. When you order them, they'll make them for you right then and there. They'll bake them for you right then and there. Fresh to order. Oh my God, you guys, it's beef, beans, and maybe a little bit of tomato in there. Oh, you guys, are you guys ready? We're gonna try it first without the sauce to see what the hypeness is about. Mm. That is so good. The meat is smoky. And the beans make it feel so Latino. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. <gasps> Let's try some of this chimichurri sauce right on top. We're gonna put it right in there. Look how cute that spoon is. This place has thought of everything. Like if I wanted a cute little spoon to grab my sauces, they gave me one. Let's give it a go. I am loving this. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's a game changer. That is a game changer. That chimichurri sauce, that just took me back to Miami. And I'm on the West Coast. I'm in Las Vegas tasting Miami. That, that reminds me of Miami. Oh, my God. <gasps> that is so good. Should we try another sauce? I'm so excited. She said this one's spicy. You guys already know I don't really do too much spice, but I'm going to be brave and do it. Oh my gosh, should I do it? Let's do it. Oh, baby. That's that sweet spice though. <gasps> that is so good. You guys got to write that in the comment section. So good. <laughs> it's going to be my thing. That is actually really good. Wait, am I going back for the second touch of spiciness? Not me going into the spicy world. Ready? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Spectacular. And you guys know that I don't even do spice. And if I'm, if I'm going to that, you know it's good. Here we go. Let's try this. This is like a garlic cream sauce. Garlic and I forgot what else is in there, but it's good. Mm. 
Oh my god. Where do I sign up and say yes, five stars to the empanada factory? Mommy, this is wonderful. I can see what the hype is all about. I mean, it's really amazing. No, this is great. I'm like, I'm blown away. And what is this one? Is, I know it's spicy, it's passion but... Passion fruit habanero. It's passion fruit habanero. And this is garlic. Cilantro aioli. Oh, cilantro aioli. And the chimichurri. Yeah, the chimichurri. Uh, that's yeah. a game changer. <laughs> game changer. There you guys go. Oh my God. Okay, so let's try another empanada. They have breakfast. Ooh, cinnamon apple. Should we do dessert or should we go with breakfast? What's a humida? I'm just curious. Now we're going to have to go with that. Let's break that right open. Humita. What is this cheese? Oh my God. This is cheese. Oh my God. What is this? I'm so confused and happy at the same time. This is, what is this? Cheese and corn? Oh my god. Cilantro aioli. Chimichurri. Oh. Ooh. You know I'm at a loss for words. Let me try that chimichurri on there. It changes everything. What is the chimichurri? Give me more. This is delicious. You know what's so funny? It's cheesy and sweet at the same time. <laughs> it kind of threw me off. I'm like, wait, wait. Sweet cheese? Like, what are we doing? Clever. Loved it. But before I dive in, let me, let me taste all of my empanadas here. Because I made the mistake of eating the first one. <laughs> okay, let's go with the breakfast. What could be in here? Could it be bacon? Could it be cheese? Could it be eggs? Could it be potatoes? Could it be, what could it be? Pancake mix. Ooh. The Empanada Factory is like a magical factory. Inside, you're gonna get a magical tree. Ooh, they should have mystery empanadas. <gasps> that is a good idea. Oh, oh my God, it's breakfast. It's a breakfast and an empanada. Is that potato, egg? Oh my god. Why does this make perfect sense? A breakfast empanada. What? You can have breakfast on the go? Oh my god. I'm blown away. I wish I would have thought about this. I'm like, very clever empanada factory. Brilliant, just brilliant. That coffee, that whipped cream, that caramel, that crushed chocolate. You guys, so these drinks are for summer only. They have their fall menu, menu come in. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin flavor, you know, all those seasonal flavors are coming to the Empanada Factory. So you guys, come out here and check out those new drinks. They're having a whole new drink menu. And they may even have some new empanadas for us. Because I'm coming back. Mm. Oh my God, I love these. Cinnamon apple, you guys already know. Cinnamon apple with a little bit of ice cream on the side. Oh, heaven. So let's see what's inside the Empanada Factory Cinnamon Apple. Oh my God, this is so exciting for me. I feel like every time I crack one of these to open, it's like a little gift, right? Oh, whoa, yes. <laughs> They got cinnamon in here for real. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Are you taking a look at this? Oh 
Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Empanada Factory, for making these delicious handheld treats. <gasps> we appreciate you, Empanada Factory. Oh my God. This is not a hype. This is that good. Oh my God, you guys, Christmas is coming. I'm from out of factory. It's my first time here, and I'm gonna say this: I am impressed. It's all good. It's all good. Fresh, and I. You know what? Another thing, I'm starting to notice. These empanadas, they're not deep fried. Muñeca, una pregunta. These are baked, right? These are baked. So you don't get that greasiness. I knew it, I'm like, they're so light and fluffy, but crispy on the outside, that golden brown that comes right around the, that rim of that empanada. That is, this is the way to do an empanada. Just baked right in that oven, nice and fresh. It's not heavy in oil. We offer them fried too. If they want it. It's up to the, oh, they, okay, so they can deep fry them. Yes. But they're typically baked. Yeah, because that is the Argentinian style. Oh, so in Argentina, they bake them. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm like, wait, what? So if you do want them deep fried, they have no problems with doing that. But if you want it the way they do it in Argentina, here in Las Vegas, you want them, trust me, you want them baked. You want them baked. Mm. You want them baked. Oh, let me try the spice, no. That is amazing. Mm. Trust me, you want them baked. Absolutely spectacular. I am a, I am highly impressed. Like this is what gets me it's the simple flavors it's the we're not trying too hard <laughs> it's that we know we got good food come and get it i like that that's a these are very confident empanadas mm. should i do it should i go back in oh my god i'm so scared of those I'm scared of those. Because it's like once you crack one open, you have to finish it. You can't just eat half of it. And I'm like, Nina, don't do it. I'm like, do it, girl, do it. Do it. You only live once. You only live once. They're so good. I want you so bad. Mm. Oh my God. You gotta pick them up with love and delicacy. I'm gonna crack it open just so you can see it. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> mm-hmm. You got it. That's what I'm saying. That <laughs> looks so good. I know that's what you thought in your head. You were like, that looks so good. You're right. It is so good. And I'm going to have it for the both of us. <laughs> I'm going to have it for the both of us. Oh, my God. Yes, please. Thank you. How are they doing that?
I gotta stop messing with that. Stay away from me. You're a problem. I want it. <laughs> oh my God. What gets me is how crispy it is on the outside, but the minute you break that open and you bite into that potato, it's like creamy potato. Like a, cr I know it's not creamy potato, but it's like a creamy potato, that consistency. No bumps, no lumps, just smooth in your mouth. Smooth in your mouth. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Oh my God, this is so deep. I'm barely putting a dent in this. Oh my God. That makes me even happier. I thought it was like a martini glass where they just give you the top, but this is all the way to the bottom. I didn't even notice that. Amazing. Amazing. I don't know how else you're supposed to pick up deep fried potatoes stuffed with beef balls, but that's definitely a, a handy food. That's what you do. Pick it up and go in. Very nice. That. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a yes for me. The food is wonderful. And I absolutely loved, one of the things that stand out to me is the fact that it's family owned. I really like that. I like to see family working together and getting along and I walked in, the vibe was great. Everybody had their role to play. I like it. Oh, and the, the place is very, very clean. And I'm talking about very clean. Everything organized, super organized. That's one of the first things I look at when I go into restaurants is how clean is a restaurant? Because that's a dead giveaway with the quality of the food. If they can't keep the restaurant clean, then you already know. This is immaculately clean, very clean. Highly impressed. And there's plenty of parking here. You don't ever have to worry about, oh my God, where am I gonna park? Is it gonna get too busy? They also do takeout orders. So if you wanna come by, pick up your order, all that you guys check out the Yelp check out the description box that has all the information the address the phone number I'm gonna see if I can also add their website if they do have one I'll add that as well thank you so much for joining me in this video you guys give this video a thumbs up leave a comment tell me if you're gonna come here and try this and if you do come here be like Nina I'm ready sent me tell them I sent you be like the Puerto Rican Queen sent me okay this was amazing I love it thumbs up for me you guys stay positive stay strong try some new foods step out of your comfort zone try a new cuisine until next time i'll see you guys all right one last bite why not <laughs> it's ceviche baby come on now